Uh, so starting this year off with a bang, um, I have treated myself to my first ever Louis Vuitton. Hi guys, it's Becky and welcome to my channel. Um, I do a lot of plus size fashion, beauty, um, lifestyle vlogs, stuff like that. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, then hit that big red subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up. Um, so this isn't one of my usual videos that I do. Um, I do like to purchase uh, designer handbags uh, every now and again when I have saved up for them. Um, so, I treated myself. Um, I wasn't expecting on buying a bag so soon. Um, I really wanted to go in store and buy it because I just love the experience of shopping in store. They treat you like a princess. I love it. <laughs> um, but obviously uh, the UK went into the lockdown um, literally straight after Christmas to be honest. Um, and then we went into an even more insane lockdown. Um, so I had no idea when the shops would be open again. Um, so I was per perusing uh, Louis Vuitton's website, just thinking like, hmm, what bag I might have like be saving up for or wanting to buy, blah, blah, blah. And then I saw this bag and I was just like, that is the one. Like, it's so weird, isn't it? Like. Sometimes you just see something and just know it's for you. Um, I always wanted the uh, Louis Vuitton Neverfull, like everyone loves the Neverfull. Um, but then I kind of wanted something different, like everyone has that bag. It's very much loved and I just thought, well, maybe let's start a new trend. <laughs> so, here is the box. Um, so yeah, I ordered this online Wednesday, I think. Um, and obviously it's quite a small little baby because it's come a little baby box. Um, I do tend to gravitate more towards smaller bags, like I don't know why. Um, they just, the styles just seem to like appeal to me a lot more than the bigger bags. Like sometimes the bigger bags kind of overwhelm me and I feel like they've not got some more thoughtful design features that smaller bags have. Um, so this bag is um, new for 2021. It has literally just come out, which is very exciting. Um, the style is the new chain bag. So I think it released last year in leather, um, but it, it came out this year in uh, the monogram canvas and so obviously with this being my first Louis Vuitton bag it had to of course be a monogram bag like it's iconic and also I really wanted a brown bag in my collection that's not something I have yet um, I have a lot of like <laughs> pink I have a lot of pink bags in my collection and a lot of like black and white but no brown more like neutral bags um, and I really wanted a brown and black bag that's something that it's a, it's a colour scheme I really love. I really also love a lot of like the Louis Vuitton um, brown and like pink bags, but I have enough pink bags. Um, so here it is in its little dust baggy and let's get it out. So exciting. I have already had a little look at it when it came, guys. I just had to. So here it is. This is the new chain. Um, Louis Vuitton bag in the uh, monogram canvas and how stunning. Um, I love it because it's so compact but it's also quite um, wide like I feel like you can get quite a bit in here. Um, I also love the black and gold detailing with the brown monogram. Um, I just think it's absolutely stunning. Um, so most satisfying part is taking this off. Oh can I get it? Oh no! Oh my god, it's actually quite hard to take off because it's like quite complicated. So I just peeled off the little um, plastic covering on the LV so you can just get a look at how shiny and beautiful it is. Um, another feature that I really love is this kind of, I don't know what they call this, but I always call it just like a duo handle where you can either have it like a short handle or you can make it go really long. Um, and it is just like gravity that changes it. And I just find that so helpful when um, 
having these bags like out and about when you're like in a city because obviously sometimes you feel a little bit more comfortable with your black bag closer to you um so i really love that feature um and i also love the black leather handle as well that matches the monogram logo so let's have a look inside so you open it up and it is a magnetic closure rather than the little twisty ones on the previous leather handbags. Um, I like that so much more just because it, it's just so much easier. Um, my Gucci Marmon is so scuffed up around this area because of the buckle. Um, I'm really glad that that's on there. Uh, then you have this little pocket here which fits a iPhone perfectly fine. It's almost like they measured it for that and I imagine they did and also look at this gorgeous red interior so pretty so lovely um and then you've got this quite good com good size compartment here um which is really generously sized to be honest like you could definitely fit like a compact a purse um some hand sanitizer stuff like that and then you also have a extra zippy up pocket here maybe if you want to keep some like notes or um cards and i think just a little bit more safe in there and then you have another little oh, pocket here in the back as well just behind the zipped up component and then the final pockets it's got like a lot of a lot of compartments is the back how cute um so i'll just do some like close-ups now so you can see the bag a little bit better um so i absolutely adore this bag this is such a pretty bag um i think this is such a good first um first buy for my first louis vuitton bag um obviously the monogram is so iconic but it's just in a different style to the neverfull um obviously everyone has the neverfull like everyone and their mums have the neverfull um so i think this was an amazing choice to pick up it's definitely a smaller bag but i think obviously it's fitness um it means that you can fit quite a lot in there um i'd say maybe you'd be able to fit a um retractable umbrella in there possibly like you know the pop-out ones um i would think you'd be able to fit like a water bottle or something in there and definitely not like a tablet or a laptop it's definitely just a little purse for you to take around um when you're just out and about but yeah i think this is a great little like city bag everyday bag um Something that you can just kind of like throw over your shoulder and take it with you anywhere you go. Um, so this was, in terms of pricing, because I know you guys will probably be curious on how much it was, uh, this was £1,680. Um, so this was definitely at the top end of my budget. Um, she's an expensive baby, um, but it is like a more substantial handbag from Louis Vuitton. Um, obviously, like the Neverfull, it is just kind of like a big tote bag um whereas this obviously has a lot more kind of like structure and pockets and features to the bag um and i just love the chain um i just woo, i think it makes it look so much more expensive because uh, because it was and i also just love this kind of new enamel um clasp i just love and i love the black and brown i think it's stunning so i hope you enjoyed this video guys um I'm really, really pleased with my purchase um, now to start saving up for the next one. Um, obviously, I don't um, do these videos very often at all. Um, I buy my bags few and far between, but obviously, I'm super lucky um, to be able to do this. Um, and I love my bags so, so much. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave any comments you fancy down below. Maybe let me know what your dream Louis Vuitton bag would be down below. I hope you guys all staying safe and well. Me and my handbags say goodbye, and I'll catch you later. Bye!